Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Njabu for those who don't know and I have a new prophetic word that I want to share with you all today. So this is a word about false accusations that are coming against the body of Christ, coming against some of you who will be watching. And I want to start off by giving you the background just to show you what exactly the Lord showed me. So over the last several weeks, God has given me multiple dreams involving lies and slander. And in those dreams, he'd show me dealing with people who are making baseless accusations against me and basically trying to reason with each of these people to no avail okay and in one case it became very clear that it was a spirit that was causing all of this commotion because the person that was slandering me wasn't even present in that dream right it was just a bunch of people who were repeating the lies that this person told them about me but that person him themselves they never appeared and a lot of the time in dreams when you see things that are being done by a culprit who is hidden away, a person who's hidden away, that's a sign that there is a spirit that's behind it. So what the Lord wants you to know is that there's a wave of false accusations that has gone out into the world. And this is just one of the weapons of choice right now that the enemy is using to attack the body of Christ. At the end of the day, the devil has the same bag of tricks, right? So all he really does is rotate. He rotates the different assaults. He rotates the different weapons because like the word says, nothing is new under the sun. So this is just his latest, his latest effort to use a spirit of accusation to come against the body and from the biblical perspective there is such a thing as a lying spirit we see an example of that in first kings where god gave permission for a lying spirit that would lead the prophets of king ahab astray this was because ahab was such a wicked king right so this was something that ahab very much deserved but we see from that that there is some sort of basis there is such a thing as a lying spirit so what God showed me is that there's a spirit of false accusation, of slander and of lies that is coming against the body. And for those of you who it's happening to or who it will happen to, the important thing for you to know is to not take the bait. Remember and understand that this is just another form of warfare. So it's meant to make you go back to your old ways. It's meant to get you out of character. It's meant to cause you to lose your patience and then to hop skip and jump right back into sin so don't give the enemy that satisfaction that is exactly what he wants and this is nothing new the word says that the enemy is the father of lies and the enemy has been a liar since the beginning so don't think it's strange that he's now lying about you instead try to rise above it as believers at the end of the day, we're not called to match people's energy as hard as it is. We're not called to roll up our sleeves and get in the gutter with anybody. OK, we're not called to be coming to blows, you know, with people over something they said and being out here trying to hand somebody a two piece. Right. Like it's just not it's just not appropriate behavior for us as people of God, no matter what it is that somebody's doing, you know. So when you see these things, try to take your focus off of the person that's making your life difficult and see the spirit that is operating through them because at the end of the day your real enemy is that lying spirit that this person themselves has probably been deceived by bewitched by or seduced by okay remember that the word says that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but against powers and principalities against spiritual wickedness in high places right meaning that everything in this life is spiritual but because we forget that we end up forgetting who the real enemy is and that's how we end up wasting a whole lot of time you know arguing with people in the comment section arguing with people in the lunch room at school arguing with people in the break room at work thinking that that's going to make something shake meanwhile it absolutely won't because the devil has never been moved by temper tantrums so when a lying spirit is coming against you you need to fight smarter and stop trying to fight 
harder and you fight smart by focusing on controlling your own emotions. You want to take extra care to stop yourself from becoming offended. The word says that we have to guard our hearts above all things and what you want to guard your heart against is offense because the moment that we become truly offended as believers is the moment we begin to hold a grudge. And then next thing you know what you're in a place of unforgiveness and just like that the devil has got you back in sin again but he's also now taking you out of right standing with the Lord because unforgiveness is one of the things that God hates the most. An offended believer is a weak believer guys. An offended believer is a weak believer. The enemy goes out of his way to cause that open door by getting somebody to offend you and then the enemy himself turns right around and walks right on through it okay there's an excellent testimony that touches on this topic as well as so many other things um, regarding spiritual warfare and how deep this thing really goes it's from a former warlock who's now a man of God and he's basically sharing his life story and when I tell you this thing is a movie this thing is a movie it's three hours long and guess what I watched from start to finish not just once but twice and then I sent it to a friend of mine who watched it from, from start to finish as well I was watching this thing till like one in the morning and I still had an hour left and I'm like I don't want to go to sleep because I want to finish it that's how good it, it is that's how good it is so I definitely encourage you to check that out just to like wrap your mind around what spiritual warfare really looks like, especially if you're a baby believer. So now I want to get into the second section of this word because the enemy isn't just lying about believers. He's also lying about men and women of God. And so this is something else that's very important that you need to know. So the spirit of, of deception has already been coming against faith leaders who are genuinely in Christ. So this is going to be the prophets, the teachers, the apostles, you know, and so on and so forth. Just Christian leaders whose influence the enemy is trying to weaken because he wants to cut off as many believers as he can from sound leadership, sound teaching, genuine prophecy, and just all of that good information. Okay. He wants to cut people off from that. So some of you have begun to see dreams show men and women of God in a negative light and it's had you wondering what's going on and feeling like wait a minute I prayed about this person and I was sure that God told me that they're a real prophet I prayed about this person and I was sure that God told me that they're truly anointed to teach so why am I now having these bizarre dreams about them they're looking evil they're being confrontational they're yelling and arguing with me like what is going on why am I seeing them in such a negative light and for many of you, what you're experiencing is the fruit of that spirit of false accusation that has gone out, okay? And this is just meant to bring you into a state of confusion and even potentially isolate you as a believer, okay? You have to remember that for believers, prophets especially, are anointed to act as destiny helpers in your life. So when God is the one who's led you to a prophetic voice, it's because he already knows that he's going to put words in that person's mouth that are meant to speak to you and be helpful to your situation, right? And that's why if you're tapped in and you're flowing with the spirit about who you're listening to, you'll find yourself attracted to a prophet and then find out that 80% of the words that they're speaking in a season are helpful to you in some way. So all of us benefit from following certain leaders who have been empowered to help us in a particular season and that's the process that the enemy wants to interrupt okay he also wants to just weaken the influence of men and women who are genuinely being used by God because obviously when you're genuinely in Christ you are a problem for the kingdom of darkness when you have a platform so the enemy is now planting false dreams trying to cause you to become suspicious about all sorts of people some of whom the Lord has already confirmed to you in the past in one of my dreams concerning this topic I had someone publicly accuse me of something very very ridiculous and borderline impossible like it was literally impossible for me to have done the thing they were saying that I did right and but then the interesting thing is that my teeth began to fall out right after this person accused me and my teeth began to fall out 
and the loss of teeth in a dream. It can symbolize embarrassment and shame, but it can also symbolize the loss of power and the loss of sheep. So the enemy is attacking true leaders with lies, not just to shame and humiliate them, but to cause their following to become suspicious of them so that the sheep will fall away, right? He wants you to walk away from the true people and begin to trust the wrong voices. And that's why we always pray about people, right? So if you find yourself suddenly having strange dreams or strange feelings of mistrust, strange feelings of suspicion towards people who God already confirmed to you or the Holy Spirit already witnessed to you and validated to you in the past, please don't jump to conclusions and, you know, DM them and start accusing them of being a witch. Please don't get on YouTube and start doing a YouTube video about so-and-so is a witch. Please don't do that. That, okay, because I've seen people put out words accusing people of being witches when the Lord has shown this person to me as being a valid prophet. We have to avoid moving in our flesh and we don't trust everything at face value, not even our feelings and not even our preferences. So if God has previously validated somebody to you as being for real and you start to find that changing, you start to find yourself feeling differently about them, go back to God and ask him again and say, Lord, is this person still with you? Has something changed or can I keep watching them? I've done the same thing and then God reconfirmed that person to me a couple of weeks later, not just once but twice. So imagine if I had just trusted the flesh and trusted my feelings and thought, okay, this person has switched sides and then gone on YouTube and made a video accusing them of being a false prophet. All the while, it was a spread of accusation that was just trying to mislead me, okay? And that's why we have to lean on the Lord and not our feelings. We, at the end of the day, as people, we get things right maybe 50% of the time, right? But God's judgment doesn't miss. And that's what you want to lean on in this season. So that is it for this prophetic word. I hope that it was helpful to you. And for those who don't know, the Lord has called me into life coaching. And so if you find yourself in need of a life coach, then please go ahead and check out my information in the description and potentially book a call if you feel led to in Jesus name. And I just appreciate you all for the continued support, your comments, your prayers. I know people have told me in the comment section that they're praying for me. I appreciate you and God bless you all. And I will see you next time and keep the faith. Amen.